Hey YouTube, Scott Stevens here. Welcome to another GBL game. The Tampa Bay Devil Rays once again visiting the New Orleans Pinheads in the second of a two-game set Hello, baseball here in New Orleans and welcome. in the, the extreme program mini season. Baseball. It's the Rays taking on the New Orleans Pinheads. The Devil Rays are 5-2. and two. The Pinheads are 2-2. Two and two. Shohei Otani, the new finest card, is making the start First today your way next. for the Devil Rays. They won game one of this series, two game, uh, two to one in game one. Julio Rodriguez, two-run homer. James Paxton, James Paxton Chris, pitched, pitched the first game of this series. Pitcher, he's pitching the he's second game as well. I don't know why. Velocity. been seeing that a lot, a lot lately in the uh, GBL. I don't understand why. I can't do it. My guys are always too tired to do it. Here's Julio Rodriguez. He's hitting 357 with a homer and three RBIs on the season. There's a swing and a drive. Rodriguez sends that one pretty deep to center field, but Junior puts it away right in front of the warning track. Loud start to the game, but just a long out. Stepping in the long ball threat, Ricky Henderson. We talk Ricky's about hitting 250 on the year, three RBIs. It, but pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive. That now one's on the left field line, fairly deep. And he makes oh, the catch the caught track. right Just in front of the wall. Who time. is that? That was Ricky Henderson who pulled in that line drive from Ricky Henderson. Now it's going to be Ellie De La Cruz. Ellie De La Cruz is Lots hitting 333, a homer on the season, the and a bunch track. of stolen bases. Ricky gave that one a ride, but Ricky tracked it down. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Paxton deals. And a count one and two. Ooh, and made that bullpen scatter down there. He's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can see how that hitter's lined up, what he's trying to do, and where that pitch is going to end up, which gives him that really quick first step, and that's why he makes so many great plays. One and two here. In the air, out to center. Griffey in pursuit. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. End of a half inning of play. On to the bottom of the first. No score after a half inning. I see that a bunch of new cutscenes have been added to the GBL. That's pretty cool. No problems with that at all. Different stuff Welcome to look at. It's always cool. On the hill here today, Shohei Otani. His the finest card making its pitching Anytime debut you know, here in the GBL. On the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Next offering is in reality strike. all you really need is three if you can control three pitches you can have yourself a solid a piece, game and it stays 0-2 all right singy is there anything you have to eat or see whenever you're in new orleans absolutely i gotta get some jambalaya if i don't it was a failed trip and the pitch fights that one away and the count remains 0-2 Ricky's not going to get there. The 0 2. Got, Got him. him. And that's the first out. Throws him. I think Ricky was looking for another off speed pitch there. I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. And now batting Mike Trout. Swings through that one. 0 and 1. All right, Singy, you know I'm a dork. Shohei Otani, go back to May 5th, 2022 at Fenway Park. He oh, tossed wow. a complete game through 99 pitches. Get this, 81 strikes. It was the most strikes thrown with less than 100 pitches Got in him. a game since that they started slurve tracking is pitch counts. Deadly. That's just unreal. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, 
got to be feeling pretty Here's good Junior. out there on the mound because when you think oh, of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie. And right back up the middle, and Junior has two himself a two-out single a for the pinheads. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. Runner at first with two away. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Alvarez, who's from Cuba, he grew up idolizing a future teammate, Yuli Gurriel, who was 13 years his senior. Oh, this guy is so comfortable hitting with two strikes, even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0 2 count. Junior, the runner at first with two gone. Cut on and miss, struck him out. That ends the inning. End of one, and we're still scoreless. And welcome back, Trey Turner at the plate. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed. Trey is hitting 111. I mean, you're talking about someone that could still through the first seven games of the deep. season. Bo Jackson, anyone? That's in for and a base hit. hit on a line. Good start to Off the second to inning. With a lead -off nod. Everything came together for him. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it and now let's see if they Trey was perfect perfect on that on line drive to left field good jump play. there and he's in there safely Chris his wheels with a different we steal a lot of bases here Shoot on the devil race so yeah, we don't need we don't feel the need to look at every replay of a stolen base, base anymore now with number. all the steals really we have Two more for Trey Turner. That's his fourth of the year. One and one on Ronald Acuna Jr. The 40-70 cards. 375 on the season with two RBIs. And he gets into that one. It's not coming back. Just like the ex-girlfriend who ain't coming back. That one is gone. First of the year for Acuna, 410-foot bomb. And the Devil Rays have a 2-0 lead. First of the season for Acuna. exactly the pitch he was looking for crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark take a look at it in super slow-mo he did not miss it and he knew it <laughs> About seven rows up into the seats there. That's going to be all for James Baxton. As he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Left-hander out of the bullpen, Billy Wagner. And we all know Wagner's been in two games. He's has one save. No ERA in four innings of work. Here's Shohei Otani. Doesn't have a hit yet in the GBL season. First pitch just misses. A little late on that hundred mile an hour fastball. Two. Uh, I was One looking for a curveball there. Versus power right there. Activity in the bullpen. I David was looking curveball. Appears to be getting loose. Uh, 
That one misses. Ooh, and the count is close. even two and two. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike. If he that is the dumbest not. thing you say in this game, Chris. And every umpire out there should be insulted. The pitch. Now fly ball to right center. Griffey gets under it. Calls it in and there's one away. That accepts the second baseman. Cattell Here's Cattell Marte. Marte. This guy's kind of a unicorn. Marte is hitting 143. Like fewer fewer switch hitters. He does have he a home run. Regardless of the side of the plate he's hitting from. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Canicorn for Junior. And he puts it away easily. Batting it. The catcher. Joe, Joe Mauer will hit Mauer. next. He's a left-handed batter who Joe's still comes hitting four up with 29 on the season. And a good average One RBI. against left-handed pitchers. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. All right, so you hit lefty. What makes it so hard to face a left-handed pitcher? Left-handers, they just seem to have different arm angles. So to keep that front shoulder in there and really discipline yourself can be tough sometimes. But the guys that do it well, man, I tip my cap to them every day. And now the lefty. In the air, left side. Henderson moves under it. Makes the grab. And that'll do it. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. And it's two zip. We'll return to Pinhead Park in New Orleans after this. Ronald Acuna Jr. goes yard. Devil Rays two pinheads nothing. Bottom of the second. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. The first baseman. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Let's see. Billy's tired. Eric's tired. We'll go with uh, Henley Jensen. And how about Goose Gossage? I like this addition of Goose Gossage. Tani back to work. Swing and a miss. Oh, That's one. strike one. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is oh, where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there. Nice right slur. Struck him out swinging. Had him way out front of the slur. And here's Corey Seeger to hit. This to center field. Rodriguez settles under it, puts the squeeze on it, two away. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little Batting harder up. out there on the mound. The I mean, he is base just base. mowing him down. Okay. He's settling in. You've got to make Maybe, him uncomfortable. Yeah. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. That one lifted to left. Henderson moves under it. Good inning for Shohei. Makes the catch, and that is that. Nothing across here this half. We play two full. The Rays have the advantage two to nothing. Babe Ruth going to lead things off for the Devil Rays in the top half of the third as Tampa Bay looks for some insurance. David Bednar gets the ball now. Just trying to keep this one close. Bednar's here. been in this two games. Look at his ERA 40.5. Babe Ruth getting ready to hit. Dave's hitting 286 from the GBL season Not very many of with an RBI. There, when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. The pitch. Fans come to the ballpark oh, to down. watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch.
A little out in front of that curveball. He got that Later, one. Oh, lined second. it right at the second baseman. Right Man, to him. Been a big swing in this game. Just unlucky at a really unfortunate time right there. He got all of it. Rodriguez. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. He's over one. It's for average power, the ability to feel the arm. It was all the over that curveball. Really impressive. And he swings and misses, and it's oh, nothing in one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Well, he's been aggressive right out of the box, and a smart pitcher is going to play off of that, especially when you get to two strikes. Pitch misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Ball, two the strikes. idea was right, looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. That one drifts That's inside. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Julio Homer in the first game of this series. Big two run below in the third. Out towards that right gave the field. Devil Rays the lead and the victory. Alvarez makes the grab for the second out. Two outs, bases empty. Now the left fielder, Ricky Henderson. He's 0 for 1. First offering, misses the mark. Ricky right Shot back up the middle, and that one's for through base. for a two out single. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry. Ellie De La Cruz up next. He is 0 for 1 this so afternoon. Next, Ellie De La Cruz. Ricky there goes runs. Ricky. Decent it jump. And safe. And it's he's in there base. safely. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Pitch was yeah, a ball. It to be a bang bang play. So it's Stat one and zero on De La Cruz. Ricky goes again. Not a good jump. Possible without that sprint speed. Well, but he's in there safely the anyway. Jump off the pitcher. He got a nice lead. Six. Timed him up perfectly. Stolen base of the season for Ricky Henderson. That pitcher went home. That's that pitch was a strike. So it's one and one on Ellie De La Cruz. Two outs here in the third. Fouls one off out of play back to our left. That was supposed to be a check swing. Right hander kicks deals. Ah, uh, to the left. End of way foul. out of the strike zone, Ellie. That Come on that. now. You got to be better than that. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Rays out front here, two to nothing. Back here at the ballpark, now here is Carlos Correa. So you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out. And he Shohei will plays. face one more batter. Back to work. And first offering is fouled off. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. And Ricky Henderson to grab. Batting none, the catcher, Will. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Yep, that's going to do it. So we'll bring in Kenley Jansen. Kenley Jansen on a pitch out of the pen And he's here. been in one game this year. Yeah, he has 6.7, so it didn't go well. On one and a third innings, if that's accurate. So it's always high so many of the GBL statistics are not accurate. We don't know what's in what. There and it's own one. Which is really annoying. Because I really cutter, like the slider, mini seasons. A sinker, a four seamer, and he works in a changeup. They're a lot of fun. That guy's fastball, but you also have I just to wish they would get the stats right. Your now you're in a tough spot. Swings through it for the K. Slider got Number him for three. strike Number three. 24. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter, low and away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike no pitch. The 1-0. Just no, off the inside edge. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at-bat strikeout. 
The 2-0 right, is in for a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable to play is pound him inside with good velocity. Yeah. They're doing that right here. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Got him with the change of Devil Rays win. In a three-inning game, a two-nothing win can sort of feel like a mini blowout. Nice job to jump ahead and a great job by the pitching staff to shut them out. Two-nothing your final here in this one. Kenley Jansen picking up the save for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chompy saying so long. Shohei Otani gets the win. James Paxton, the loser. Kenley Jansen earns the save. So the Tampa Bay Devil Rays sweep two here in New Orleans. Two to one and two to nothing over the pinheads. The Devil Rays scored two runs on three hits. The pinheads no runs on one hit. Shohei Otani is the player of the game. Two and a third innings, no runs on one hit. He struck out. Four, he got the win as well. Ronald Acuna was one for one with a homer and two RBIs. Trey Turner, one for one. Ricky Henderson was one for two. And Kenley Jansen gets his first save of the GBL season. So the Tampa Bay Devil Rays sweep the pinheads in a two-game set. Today's score, two to nothing. Shohei Otani, the winner, he is one and oh. James Paxton, the loser, he's 0-1. Kenley Jansen gets the save. Hope you had fun. Thanks for joining. I'll see you next time.